This is a video to show if you receive your machine and there's a key that's not working properly. For example, the return key. Now in this situation we have a metal wire that connects the return key. First we want to be able to get to that return key. So what we're going to do is loosely take off the shift key to give us some room. So take a screwdriver and very carefully pry off the key and put it aside. Next, go to the return key and very carefully once again pry it off but this time there is something that connects. Now you'll see that this typewriter is supposed to have two of these plastic pieces and it's missing one. And this, this piece here which connects to these two connectors has fallen off. If we can find the other part that goes here we can fix this, here's the other part, by just reinserting the metal bar into the return key. If we can't find the part, we can use the return key without that metal bar. Now we're going to remove this key to give us better access. Some keys are a little harder to get off than others but it's the same design as the shift key was. Now the reason that they have this metal bar is for the larger keys like the space key and the return key and the shift key might have one as well. Uh, so it doesn't turn when you have the, um, the key on. But first I'm going to show you if you don't have these parts or if any of them are missing, if you don't have these the, the little white plastic piece there, you can simply take the return key and snap it back on and it will work properly. There's going to be a little play in it, you know, left and right, which is the reason for that metal bar. But it will work without the metal bar and those plastic connectors. Okay, so now we have our pieces over here. We have the uh, return key that has just one um, of the plastic pieces inside. Uh, we have our metal bar and we have the extra plastic piece. Now it's difficult, you'll have to put this through here. There's an opening there that you see, okay? And that'll slide in there, okay? Right in the middle. Um, but uh, it will be difficult to put it on while the other pieces in here without stretching this bar. And if you stretch the bar, it could break or you might uh, bend it uh, so what we want to do is we want to take um, the metal bar, you could do either side. Uh, you want to make sure these are in the same direction. So for example, I'm going to put this one back in and take the other one out. Okay, so now I'm going to take this one out. And I'm going to simply take the piece and then slide the end of the metal bar right through here. So it slides nice and easy. And then I'm going to insert it over here while it's still off and not inserted there. And then I'm going to take this piece which I've already inserted and simply put it back into its holder. Now the metal bar can move freely back and forth and up and down. Then I'm going to take this and you see there's these two connectors here. It will actually click into those. So I need to hold it until it goes into those connectors I got one over here Okay, you see there's one connector, now I'm going to snap it into place, so now it's in both connectors. One connector on that side, and one connector on that side. So here and here, we've snapped it into place, it's a little tricky, but you'll get it. And then we're going to make sure that the center, this little notch here, same as the notches in these other keys in the middle, goes inside that white connector. And now 
the bars back on properly. We're going to replace our other keys. All right, now all the keys are in place properly and the metal connector is no longer visible.